That's pretty bad. Anyway, we are here in Leavenworth in central Washington. We are gonna stay here for the next few days, mainly because tomorrow I'm going to the enchantments if I can, because there are wildfires all around. So if it is too smoky to hike, then uh, I will have to stay here. If it looks good, and I'll have to check on that tomorrow in the morning at the trailhead, then I'll be spending the next two nights up in enchantments for the first time. But no matter what, even if I don't go hiking, I'm gonna be shooting these two new cameras. Uh, this is the Holga 120N. It's a medium format film camera. It's a toy camera, but it's pretty fun to use. And this one, the 6500, I got it a few days ago, and this is gonna be my first big trip with it. And hopefully I can make better videos with this camera. We'll see. But now it's dinner time. We're gonna go out. I'll show you a little bit of the town because it's, it's pretty cute. Okay, so I have all this. These are all my clothes, tent here. I have all my food, the bag, sleeping bag. It's a lot of things. So this is set. It's 20 minutes to 7. We are driving to the train ahead and it looks very very smoky so I know. Two miles. Well we made it to the train ahead. There are quite a few people here. So yeah, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm gonna be somewhere behind those peaks, I think, or farther, I know, somewhere around there. Ready! So we're here, and I'm planning on camping here, and then tomorrow hike here, hike back, and at night, Okay. Back then, that's the plan. That's uh, Leavenworth there. Okay, first break. There, there is a valley. I'm going through that valley, canyon, whatever. Two snow lakes that it should be just behind those peaks. And tomorrow I'm going up there. But at least that's what I think. I think I'm right though. Anyway, so far, first mile, 850 feet. Not too bad. It's a beautiful place having with all this milk. Okay, second break. I think 
time three miles in uh, 1800 feet anyway so yeah I have what another three miles maybe to the first lake and twice the elevation gain not too bad I'm feeling pretty good actually but the, the backpack is pretty heavy I've done almost four and a half miles, almost 3,000 feet. So yeah, I should be more than halfway there to Nada Lake, but uh, it's here. Maybe another mile and a half or so. the trail <clears throat> this is one of those times where people on YouTube leave the camera up there then they go back and hike up to record themselves but yeah I'm not doing that well made it to the first of the lakes. This is Nana Lake. Look at that. That's a lot of water. I guess that is coming from snow lakes. Alright, so last break before snow lakes that they should be up coming there. So, almost there. There you go, 6 miles, uh, 3700 feet, 3 hours, not too bad. And yeah, this is not a lake. something funny to find here. Toilet. Okay, it might not be the best spot, but I'm getting this one. Doesn't have any shade, but at least I'm not alone. There are more people there. Now, first of all, some food. I'm so tired. I don't think I explained this, but this place is special because you need a permit to stay here. It's not easy to get one, uh, but I was lucky enough to get two days, two nights here. I can camp anywhere here or on the upper lakes. So I'm not completely sure about what to do just yet. I was thinking my original plan was, my original plan was to camp here tonight, hike up the upper lakes tomorrow and then maybe come back here and sleep here again but now i'm thinking that 
it might be too smoky tomorrow to hike up there so I might want to just go tonight I know all I know is that I'm gonna set it up now I'm gonna take a nap because I'm really tired okay that's my sight put the foot away because you never know with the birds well hopefully it's okay here it's not very high I know Look at that though, so smoky right now. Munch. Okay, so I took a nap kind of and I've been shooting the whole go around. that's ash it's falling ash right now so yeah that's not good I really hope I don't have to leave but it's falling ash right now here and that is not good it's looking pretty bad it got much worse during the last hour I'm gonna wait a little bit because I'm already here and if it gets just a little bit worse I might have to head back today and that would suck a lot this might be my only chance to go to the upper lakes. Anyways, 2 p.m. sunset should be around 7.38. So I have pretty much six hours. And that means that I have two hours to make a decision. We'll see. That peak there is called the temple. Uh, it's pretty cool. Majestic, I would say. Full of ash. It's 4 p.m. and the window to head back is closing quickly. It's about time to make a decision about what to do today. There are good news though is that it looks much better on this side at least from the tent so. I think I'm staying tonight and um, I'll have to check on the smoke tomorrow morning to see if I'm hiking to the upper lakes that's looking better that is not Look at that, amazing background for this camera, ha! Huh. Well, I thought I would talk about this camera and why I got it, the Holga. So this is a plastic toy camera. It's very, very, very simple. That's the shutter, so you take a photo that way. You can take as many exposures as you want on the same frame, so if you put it in a backpack or something, it can be <laughs> taking photos and you don't even realize. Wind the film here, and that's pretty much it. You can change the exposure a little bit from, let me show you here, uh, that would be cloudy and that would be sunny. I think that is f8 and f11, I'm not really sure. And that's the focus from really close focus to landscapes, so infinity. The photos are not amazing, this lens is plastic. This camera was 30 bucks, 35 I believe. It uses medium format film. So yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I've been having fun shooting it. The, I've shot like three rolls, just developed just one. This camera was for both getting a different look on my photos and to shoot film on situations like this where I cannot bring my big camera. That is very, very good to see. That is a blue, blue sky. Yay! Blue everywhere. Made the right decision. 
create a new breed which he should be it. So now you take this off. Like that. This and there we go. So this is all. He has this camera inside. Pretty much nothing. Oh, B. Get out. That doesn't look good at all. That is fire. Okay, so I just went and talked to that group over there. Um, they seem fine, like not worried at all. The fire is like, well, it was supposed to be seven miles away, but there are not too many trees in between there and here. So we should be pretty safe here from that fire. It does look like a lot of smoke. Pretty dramatic.